Hey guys, welcome to YouTube channel where we talk all about gate exam and we are studying DBMS into that we are up to the normalization level. So far we have understood that if a given relation or a table is in, is in a lower normal form, then it shows a level of redundancy, right? That means it is not having a proper design that there is a flaw in the database design or there is a flaw in the way the relation has been, has been composed with the help of attributes which we need to change in order to perform the better operation, the basic operation, that means the crude operations, creation, reading, uh, update and deletion, all the four operations which we define in terms of anomalies, right? When, wherever the basic operation will face a problem that will turn out to be an anomaly, which are insertion, deletion, updation anomaly. So that we have understood and this we have witnessed with the help of various different different types of normal forms understanding their definitions and the basic tool which was defining them functional dependency that what kind of functional dependency can generate what kind of redundancy can result into what kind of normal form right so now i think we have reached the point we have to come up to the actual normalization process the process which performs the normalization which is nothing but then the decomposition if you have a relation or the table in the lower normal form now is the time to decompose it to normalize it so that you can achieve a higher normal form which says less redundancy which says a better design of the database which says the anomalies are going to be low so here in this video i'm going to begin with that so we are going to start with the decomposition part which is nothing but then the normalization so in a in a way we can say normalization in other ways decomposition of the table right the concept is nothing but then you all have understood it if you have the lower normal form then what it is equivalent to it is equivalent to having the more redundancy correct having more anomalies anomalies as you all have understood if at all you are coming for the first time on this video i would really request to go on the playlist where we have done the beginning of the normalization i understood each and everything one by one all the terms here have been explained differently i mean ex explained in detail in different different videos right so low normal form also means more anomaly that means the insertion updation deletion anomalies would be witnessed okay and it ultimately is a reason because we have a poor database design okay this is a reason because we have a poor database design so if i just say if you have to go from the lower normal form to the higher normal form so that is nothing but then the normalization correct that's exactly what is the normalization and that exactly what is decomposition okay so for performing this normalization what we are actually going to do is we will decompose the lower normal form into multiple normal forms multiple tables i mean the table which is having the lower normal form with that table will be decomposed or divided into multiple tables okay two or more than two tables which are supposed to have the higher normal form okay which are supposed to be more normalized which are supposed to so accordingly if you have higher normal form a relation has higher normal form then what does it become the poor database design becomes the good database design okay the more anomalies become to the less anomalies and so more redundancy turns out to be less redundancy correct exactly so this is what the basic idea is so now there are uh, two questions that should come in somebody's mind before we go for the decomposition the very first question is how to decompose right how to go from one table to more than one tables like one table is getting decomposed into multiple tables so if you just remember the very first class where i started explaining why normalization right the need of normalization we took the example of suppliers parts and city details in that we took a bigger table initially and then we showed you the decomposed two tables where it was more normalized correct so accordingly based on the functional dependencies which are deciding the normal form of the given table and it is finding out that it is in the lower normal form that only will decide how to decompose it that we are going to see the second question arises in the mind is is this de decomposition correct or not okay so that means there should be some benchmark to check whether the given decomposition is a correct one or not okay all right so before we go for the how to decompose part 
let's understand the properties of the decomposition and in other words we can say how do we know that the correctness of the how to check the correctness of the decomposition so for that matter we have basically we have two properties but the third one i have just named it as a third property which is very essential so the the very first is attribute preservation then is lossless joint or the non additive joint and the third is dependency preservation you all must have heard these names multiple times but let's again understand it once again the attribute preservation is very simple you have a relation r supposedly we have r okay let's, let's take we have multiple attributes like i took five attributes a b c d then i decomposed it into multiple relations r1 and r2 the one is having a b the other one is having c d so now you see is this a correct decomposition no the very first instance you can say that it's not correct uh, decomposition why because it's not preserving all the attributes the attribute e is missing okay this is missing it's not taken care when you are decomposing it so that simple uh, property is the the very first check is that all the attributes so like whatever r1 R two and whatever number of relations you are decomposing it into, so once you take attributes of all the attributes, it should be equal to the attributes of relation R. Okay, each and every attribute should become the part of it. None of the value, none of the attribute, none of the field should be missed, should be lost while decomposing. So that becomes the very first property: attribute preservation. All right. The next two are quite detailed ones. lossless joint non additive joint property and the dependency preservation property these two i'm going to take up in a separate video one by one because there you need to understand a lot of things okay so uh, i'll just brief up here again once again what is decomposition decomposition is nothing but another name for the normalization right so we are trying to reach from the lower normal form to the higher normal form by decomposing a table or a relation into multiple tables while performing this particular process or operation we need to ensure that 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 particular decomposition should hold these properties okay so for going for the decomposition we will understand these two properties one by one first and then we will do the decomposition okay just go don't go anywhere stay tuned go for the next video where i am going to explain you this particular property till then bye bye